guys, just thought I'd check in with you. I went out this morning looking for ptarmigan, just because I haven't really seen many this trip. So I went to some of the spots that I've seen them in the past. Wasn't able to find any. I did see a mother bear with two cubs. One that I haven't seen yet. She had these really cute, fluffy cubs. And uh, they were in this little stream, just a very pretty setting. So I stuck with them for a little bit, took some pictures. And uh, it was just really nice. I've been focusing more on pictures rather than video yesterday and I will be the rest of the trip. Uh, this first part of the trip I just focused on video and I hardly took any pictures but uh, I realized that I hadn't really been taking pictures so I'm going to be focused a little bit more on pictures now. Uh, obviously if there's something really cool happening I'll try to get on video as well but uh, yeah this last portion of the trip these last few days out here will be mainly mainly pictures. It's just been awesome though. I hiked out onto the tundra, came up to a high point. I wanted to count how many bears I could see around me. There's been a lot more out here this year than I've ever seen. My previous record was uh, 13, being able to see 13 bears at once. And this morning I hiked up to this higher point and counted and I saw 26. So uh, double what my previous record has been. But uh, yeah, it's just been fun very overcast today and uh, a little bit of a chilly breeze but it's been it's been a fun fun day just beautiful day out here I'm gonna keep going um, I see a bald eagle up here in some rocks so I'm going to go uh, see if I can get some pictures of him he's been flying around and he'll touch down in the tundra periodically and then I'll fly back up so, see if I can get some pictures of him. Maybe some video again if he's doing something cool. I always like the slow motion takeoffs and uh, flight and stuff. So, maybe I'll try some of that. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep hiking. See what I can find. Windy day, holy cow. So, today's actually been really slow. Uh, this wind picked up uh, in later in the morning, early afternoon, and it rained for a bit, and it's just been a really slow day. Um, it's about dinner time right now. And yeah, there's just nothing out. Um, so I'm gonna cook some dinner and I think I'm actually gonna call it a night. Um, I'll be honest, I am just beat. I am exhausted. Uh, the last, I mean, ever since I've been here, I've been going to bed pretty much around midnight each night. 
and then waking up at five or just after five and then hiking all day and I'm just so tired. I've been sleeping incredibly well at night, but I'm just tired. Uh, it's a lot of physical, you know, energy that I'm expending. And, um, yeah, I'm just I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna get some dinner and go to bed. I'm, I'll probably do a little bit of reading or something just to wind my brain down a little bit. But uh, yeah, it was a pretty slow, slow day. I saw a couple bears out here and there. Uh, not a whole lot though, it's so windy. All the moms with cubs are all hiding. I saw uh, that favorite sow of mine. I was trying to photograph her, but uh, as soon as the wind picked up, I saw her booking it across the tundra with her cubs behind her. She was just looking for somewhere to hide. And uh, I went and checked on the foxes and I haven't seen them the past three times now that I've checked on them. Uh, the past two times that I've been there, there have been bears at the den and the lat, so the senket, I can't even think, sorry. <laughs> um, not today, but last time I checked on them, there was actually a bear at the den digging. So I don't know what happened to those foxes. I haven't seen them since that last time. I got video of them however many days ago. I can't even remember. What was that, like six days ago now, maybe? I don't even know. A while ago. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you can't tell, I'm a little tired. So I'm going to I'm gonna call it an early day. It's, I think it's about 8.30, almost 9 o'clock right now. So, you know, going to bed, couple hours early sounds very appealing to me uh, once I finish dinner and everything it'll probably be around 10 o'clock and it'll be it'll be good just lay down read for a bit and then yeah we'll start again in the morning I've got two more days here and then the plane comes and picks me up after that so um, yeah, it's, it's gone quickly. It always does. Um, you know, I spend, it, it's a decent amount of time out here. It's a longer trip, but, uh, it always goes by so fast. And, you know, I always miss it when I leave. And I miss my family when I'm here though, so it's it's always bittersweet. On the one hand, you know, I'm leaving my family to come to this amazing place, and then I'm leaving this amazing place to go back to my family. So it's always bittersweet, but yeah, time has just flown by. It's been an awesome trip though. I've been having so much fun. But uh, yeah, enough of my ramblings. I'm I'm hungry, so I'm gonna cut this off and get some grub. I'm feeling those burritos tonight. I talked about them the other day and then I thought I'd give you guys a break of me talking about food. So uh, I, I had them a couple days ago and I didn't mention it because all I've been doing this trip is talking about food. So here I am talking about food again. Um, burritos. Read. Bed. Let's do it. Well, so much for my extended night of peaceful rest. Um, I laid down, it was around 10 o'clock like I had planned and read just a couple chapters of my book, a few pages. And then I, I laid down to go to sleep and the wind picked up like insane 
it, it was crazy. I haven't had wind like that out here this trip so far. And I've only had it that crazy a couple times out here before. Where it's so strong, I thought some of the lines, of my tent lines tied to stakes were going to snap. And some of the seams were going to rip and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was intense. And then the rain started about two hours later. And the wind was still so strong. And the rain was coming down so heavy. It was, the wind was just blasting the rain against the tent. It was, it was crazy and it was so loud. So, yeah, my night of extended rest turned into about an hour and a half or two hours of sleep last night. So, I am, I am tired. But, you know what? I can't complain. I'm, I'm grateful more than anything. Uh, you know, I'm in this beautiful place with these extreme weather conditions, and I know that coming into it. I'm just thankful that my gear has held up. You know, even with these extreme conditions last night, I was able to stay warm, I was able to stay dry. My gear is safe and dry, and I can't complain, you know. I'm a little tired, but that's okay. I've been tired before, so... Um, more than anything, I'm just, yeah, I'm happy that I'm safe and my gear is safe. Um, so yeah, I have no room at all to complain. I'm just, I can hear the water outside and the, the wind is nice, so it's, it's, it's good. It's okay. I, when I come out here, I come out here expecting a couple days like this, so it's it's fine. And when I get home in a couple days, then I'll sleep. So <laughs> it's it's okay. But uh, the storm is still blowing through. The wind has calmed down, and it's just like sprinkling right now. But I just went outside a couple of minutes ago, and the clouds are still, it's super overcast, and they're dark clouds too, it's not just like light overcast clouds, um, they're still dark rain clouds, so I have a feeling it's going to pick up again here shortly, and uh, at least the rain portion, the wind might just stay like this, I don't know, but um, I'm going to get some breakfast now while it's a little calmer, and the wind's not so crazy. And then uh, we'll see what this weather decides to do. Uh, when I went outside, I looked around for bears. Usually I can see a couple bears from my camp. I didn't see anything. I don't even hear the gulls this morning. I haven't heard any ptarmigan. So it might, it might just be another one of those days where uh, there's not a whole lot going around. But we'll see. It could be awesome as well. So... Um, yeah, we'll see. I'll uh, keep you updated though. Made it back just in time. The uh, next part of the storm has blown in. It's been crazy all day. Uh, the storm broke for about an hour there. And as soon as that storm stopped, as soon as the rain and the wind kind of died down, I went out to see what I could find. It's like a ghost town out there. I saw a couple bears way, way out in the distance and uh, nothing by the river, nothing close by. I, uh, I got a seagull picking at a dead fish. Oh, and a ground squirrel too. But, uh, that was it. I mean, in an hour, just over an hour of hiking, looking for stuff, that was it. It's, yeah, it's just dead out there. It's crazy. But, uh, we'll see what this storm does. This, the clouds didn't look as backed up as what passed by earlier today. So hopefully it won't last as long, because, I mean, it's already almost 7 o'clock in the evening. And there's just been one hour, just over an hour today, where it hasn't been rain and wind. 
and uh, yeah there's just nothing out right now so I apologize to keep checking in with you guys from inside the tent while it's all rainy and windy out there but that's what we've got to work with so let's just make the most of it and uh, wait it out see what happens storm finally broke. It's been pretty good for a couple of hours now. I went out looking for bears. I found a couple. I'm with a sow with two little cubs right now. And uh, they just, I was following them on the tundra and they passed right above my camp. And I wanted to see what they would do if they would get curious, but they didn't even care that the tent was there. But uh, yeah, I had a fun evening with them. They've just been eating crowberries and blueberries. The berries are finally starting to ripen now. So they've just been eating those. And uh, I was hoping they would play or something. They played for about 20 seconds and then <laughs> they stopped and went back to eating. But uh, it's just a beautiful night. The wind's picking up again. I think it's gonna be another windy night and then I've got some rain clouds coming in again so I'm not sure what the weather is going to do but uh you know thinking back on this trip it's it's so different than last year's trip if you've watched last year's videos at all it was all about fishing getting the bears fishing whereas this trip the fish came in pretty late and uh even then the bears they just weren't fishing a lot there's a f there's a few that have been fishing but it's nothing like it was last year and I'm very very glad that I switched my focus to these sows with the cubs because you know this is my fourth year coming out here and I have never never seen this many sows with cubs with new cubs before it's crazy how many there are so I'm so glad that I switched my focus to them it's been such a fun trip with them and uh, you know thinking back on this trip too it's also been different because I've been so focused on video I haven't gotten as many uh, photos as I have in the past usually I'm just focused on on getting pictures and I come away with thousands of pictures literally and tons of pictures that I'm so happy with whereas this trip you know, I had to remind myself to get pictures a lot of the time. But I've got some video sequences that I'm very happy with. The video is a little tricky though this trip too, just because that constant wind. Um, if some of the video is a little bit shaky, I apologize, but that wind just jostles the camera all around as it probably is right now. But uh, it, it was a awesome awesome trip i love it out here so much fun tomorrow's my last day when the plane comes and gets me and 
I'll uh, actually be signing off with you tonight. Uh, I thank you so much for following along. It's been so much fun. And if you're wondering why I'm not going to take you through tomorrow as well, I'm actually going to put the cameras away tomorrow. Uh, I have been so focused this trip, working on so many different videos that I haven't taken the time to just sit back and enjoy it. So I'm putting the cameras away tomorrow and I'm just gonna soak it all in. I'll do some hiking and uh, you know, if I see something, you know me, if I see something really cool, the camera's coming out again. But uh, even then, I mean, I doubt I'll make it more than an hour or two with the camera put away, but you know, I'm just gonna try to soak it in as much as I can. But as far as this vlog, of this trip goes. I'll sign off with you tonight. And I want to thank you guys so much for following along. It's been such a fun trip. And uh, it's just been different. Each year out here is so different. And like I had mentioned before in this video, if you guys are curious at all about seeing my first two years out here, I did vlog uh, stuff with uh, those trips as well. So if you're curious and you want to see that, I can put those together and uh, come out with those at some point. Just be warned, if I do that, um, my video skills were even worse than they are now back then, so um, it, it might be, uh, it, yeah, well, I guess we'll see how it turns out, but uh, yeah, if you're interested in those, let me know, and I can start working on those as well, but again, thank you so much, you guys, for following along. I love it out here such a wonderful wonderful place such an awesome trip and uh yeah i'm gonna finish out the night with this sow and these cubs here see if they do anything interesting the sun's setting right now anyways so it's gonna be getting dark here soon but uh yeah thanks again you guys and uh, we'll see you next time Not a day goes by that I don't think of this place. The salmon, the bears, the ptarmigan and foxes. Walking paths worn into the tundra by generation after generation of bears. The countdown until my next visit starts over as I bid this landscape farewell. As I leave, life continues on as it has for generations. The animals won't notice my absence, but on my part, they'll be sorely missed. I almost feel like I leave a part of me here each time I say goodbye, only to discover it again when I return. I'll count down the days until I find my way back to this ancient, magical place. <laughs>